All right, Sunday. Today we're going to Bergenfield. And we're running a little late, but it doesn't matter because they put the mats down on uh, that floor. So well, we don't. You could call Cindy and let her know what we're driving. Yeah, I suppose. I will if you want. Uh, green light. But uh, last time we did Bergenfield wasn't very good. So we'll see. AJ's even running late because he was like. He was relying on us to call him in the morning to get there. And since we woke up late, he woke up late. But who knows? We should get there before him, though. And then we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. You know, last time we went to Bergenfield, that's when I bought all those pennants. Which I still haven't got my money back on. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I say all the time. I buy stuff. And then it takes me, like, forever <laughs> to get my money back or to make money or something like that. And I'm, I'm constantly making money on stuff I've had for, like, years. But the new stuff, no. But, um, anyway, on our way to Bergenfield. Hopefully it'll be better than last time. The space they gave me last time was small, so it was annoying to set up. Um, it was shorter. I had to fit in a tighter space. Uh, I don't know if there'll be anything to buy there. Maybe you'll get some jewelry or something, you know. I don't know. Yeah. But, alright, let's... We're on our way. We'll get there. Anything you want to add? No. Nope. Okay, we're on our way. We're at, uh, we'll get there. Hopefully we'll have a fun and profitable day. Yeah, but it was it was the cheapest one, right? Okay, this is AJ's Amazing. What was what was the one that was the best one? It's on the bottom, so. No, what was the one that, that you just sold on oh, that? Oh, the Legend of Kara. Legend of Kara. I got six bucks for it. And you paid how much? I paid 35 for the stack. Oh, so, oh 35 okay. All right, let's see. This is AJ's this amazing. Is, he's going to start from some nuts, no big deal no, to this that. This is 10 bucks. 10 bucks, not bad. 35 for everything. This is 30 to 40. 30 to 40? 30 to 40. And these are sealed? Yeah, everyone's sealed. 25. 25. And now let's see. This is his last. Wait a minute. Okay. This uh, is like, one piece. This is like 17. Okay, that's not bad. This is like 30. 30. So, now, so far, anywhere from 17 to 30. These two are the surprises. This is Photoshop. And this is a, an unlimited version, unlimited you said, right? Version with what is this everyone. worth? This is probably two to five hundred. Sealed? Two no. to five hundred. No, it's not sealed. But, used but once. it was used once. So even if it doesn't have unlimited uses, it'll have at least one or two more uses. Brand new, it goes for eight hundred. So I'm guessing two to five. And it's got all the codes yeah. and everything that you need. Yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. Very Are good. Are you not scared of selling software with codes? I, I nah, he sells it before. You could probably sell it on Facebook, right? Yeah. yeah. Not selling on eBay. Yeah. And this is the biggest surprise. I almost didn't buy this. This, Why didn't you almost buy I, this? I didn't know how much you wanted. It was a girl. It's named us. after someone's grandma. So Nana. this is this is the rare series. Every season of this goes for hundreds. Hundreds. But this is the rarest one. Right, ah. so how you is this the first season? Um, I check I check eBay first. eBay says use one thirty five. One sold for one fifty. But green. What? Green. Well, well, green. Yep, one fifty. But it's, it was a fluke. Because we go on Amazon, you go on Bars and Nobles, you go on any other site, it's four hundred. He says three fifty on Amazon. I think somebody, I think, I think somebody bought it. And bought I told him just to. You can't go by Amazon, please don't. Because a used one sold, a used one sold for one thirty-five, so it can't be one fifty new. It can't be fifteen dollars. I told him go like to just say three fifty best offer, and if he gets a couple of hundred, you know. Especially that it's sealed and stuff. And, and that's out of print. I know Steve would have bought this stuff. Would you bought this stuff, Steve? Yeah. Well, yeah. here you see stamped here. Oh, and what does that mean? Oh, this is sealed. Authentic. Oh, okay. Authentic. If it was bootleg, you wouldn't have that stamp. Hmm. Just a Disney you learn too, something. When you see Disney. Yeah. Oh, that's see, Disney? No, no. I mean, okay. If you don't see the blue stamp. Okay. But that's only. The package, but that's only. It would be on I the plastic outside, or yeah, because this is. Plastic over here. Yeah, but so if it's not sealed, then how do you know? Because this is sealed, so it's on the plastic. That Mexico. That's Only it. when you buy sealed okay, Disney. Okay, okay, okay. Only sealed. So why'd you come over here today, Steve? <laughs> he wanted to see what a crap flea market where you wouldn't well, find anything. It was like it was bad too. It's like he can't go home for some reason, so he needed some time to kill. <laughs> <laughs> These are all legit. And it was thirty-five for the stack, so I said I yeah. gave you the money. And so I sold one thirty-five to how much? Sold six bucks. So thirty-five to about five hundred. Maybe more. Depends no, I don't know about Photoshop. Depends on the Photoshop. Well, it's Photoshop. You said it would be Maybe at least two to five because brand new sells for eight. So uh, all right. Unlisted, so it's like you couldn't it's find it yet. Unlisted. Uh, okay. One sold for two, but it's like with Photoshop, it's like you gotta. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. And with that, you can put three fifty or best offer. See what happens. Yeah, that's what I do. I'd start the same as Amazon, three fifty. Yeah. 
Last one sold for 150 and then used one You can't really check work point on, on DVDs. No. Why not? Because they don't really consider that like... Uh, they should do everything. Uh, I know even like Barnes & Nobles are selling it for like 300 why well, if Barnes and Noble's selling it for three hundred, then you know you can't ask three fifty. Well, why? Well, why do you think that? Because they is know it like it's out expensive. Of print right? Japanese DVD? Is that why? It is out of print. Yeah. How do you but know? if, how do you if Barnes and Noble is selling it for three hundred, then you can't start at three fifty. Yeah, but how do you tell them? Sealed is selling it. Yeah. Well, they must be right at Barnes and Noble's. Oh, okay. it's selling used. Yep. Sealed. Oh, sealed. Online? Yep. See, I don't go. I don't check Barnes and Noble. I wouldn't either. It would yeah. just be Amazon, eBay. Well, if you type it in, the first thing that pops up Barnes and Noble's. Hmm. And Amazon's wants like three fifty to four hundred. And there's other sites are selling for three fifty to four hundred. I don't really get much good today. So I want to show my pickup next. You got to take a picture of that. that <coughs> stand. Well, he will do, but do a close up. Yeah, it's cool. I, I never saw shit like this, but she used to do the girls do conventions. She still does. She does she it twenty does. a year. She says, I should talk Maybe to her you, more. You should ask her if she has any more. Yeah, I asked her. She goes, well, this is for now. But she said she would come. Sorry, to file JC now. So. Oh, okay. So maybe she bring more. I don't know tell, why. Tell, Tell, every, tell everybody. She made 35 bucks. <laughs> tell her, Anthony, tell her, How much is a spot? It's like 40, 40, 40 45. 45. Yeah. So tell, she pretty much gave this away yeah. for free. Well, yeah, she gave it away anyway. Yeah. She gave it away anyway. Yeah, yeah. well. Now, well, tell them the best part, though. What's the best when part? When you saw them in the parking lot, you said these people probably have something. I saw them pulling in the parking lot, carrying the boxes. I was like, oh, I'm going to check them out later. I but he did beat me. <laughs> <laughs> he got there first. I was like, and I didn't know where they were. Um, they were hiding behind the banner, so, you know. No, these were, like, in the thing, and I didn't know what they were, but then I saw the anime, I'm like, I'm trying to, maybe like, they're good. Oh, you want to see something I got? Maybe maybe you'll have some advice on it. Okay, we're going to end this here, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, show him the South Park stuff. No, I'm not, I want to show him the oh, Mickey yeah, Mouse. Like no, he likes South Park. All right, but I, I want to show him the Mickey Mouse. All right, let me turn this off. Okay. AJ just did his pickup, so I'm going to do mine. This is something I probably shouldn't have bought, but I bought it just because it's very pretty. I was like four bucks. If it, if I didn't realize it had this chip here, if it had been pristine, I don't know, maybe it's worth like 20, 30, 35, something, whatever. You can tell it's definitely an older one because it says Japanese porcelain wears decorated Hong Kong Lord and Taylor. Um, unfortunately, it has that chip and it has another little chip. Okay, Steve, come here one sec. You think it's from the 30s? No. 70s? It's wire on the inside, I think. I think it's posable. Now, someone said, oh, you should clean it. I'm like, no, because no. the paint will come off. You think it's later or earlier? He's smelling it. I think it's a repo. Okay, from the 70s then. But if I it was it's made to look old. If it was a repro, the when it's my okay, because there's no stamp. Well, that's what I was about to ask you. If it was a repro, wouldn't it have a stamp somewhere? No. That, I mean, it's, it's very good condition. I, yeah. I think. But if it was really early, would it not also have a stamp? Because this is leather, right? Is that leather? Yeah. I don't know what that is. It could be rubber. Yeah, maybe it's rubber. Nowhere indicated. Stamp. It's got a heavy Hold. seam on it. I think uh, if it's a repro, I think it's from the 70s, right? If it's not, then I think it's older. You gonna look it up? No. Okay. I thought this was. Stamp. You saw a mark? Well, it was eight bucks. I think it's made to see, look old. Doesn't smell like anything. See these? You paid a dollar for these. Taiwan? I don't know. I didn't even look. They just said a dollar. No. Made in China. What do you think they were? Like 15? More than, more than a dollar. Hell yeah. But they're all the same thing. I'm probably going to do like a, uh, like a fixed price. You know what I mean? A multiple listing. What, what, what would you sell this at? Big patch of this. Regular patches, I, I put them starting at 13. See, I, I was thinking like 20 bucks, but... Well, Too bad it's not dated in like... Oh, that would be nice. It has to be the older one. Though. It is the older, yeah, but... Yeah, you can tell because of Cartman. Why? What's up with Cartman? This is older style. You look, you had that tray mark there. Earlier. Yeah, TM. Co oh, it's from Comedy Central. Yeah, that, well, that's... Yeah. Zion. Yeah. Ten bucks. Online? Online, I would, it would be ten... No, 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 no less. I would, if I put them online, I'm going to ask either 15 or 20. Free shift? Free shift, yeah.
because yeah, fifteen. I'll, I'll double check, but fifteen or twenty, because otherwise it's like I'll sell them at a flea market for five bucks. I got it from the the couple up front. I mean, no, the other room. They they have some wrestling. They have the wrestling belt. Oh, the lunchbox. Yeah, and and the hook. Yeah, the wrestling box. Wow. I think this is made to look old. Okay. What AJ? Oh, okay, AJ has a very personal question. I don't think they made phone. Just, they made more like uh, vinyl, celluloid. Well, that's hard plastic, yeah. That's, that's what it's very like. spongy, though. You know, it's almost like those rubber balls that they used to make, like in. in Maybe it's from the 70s. Yeah. I, if it's a repro, I think it's from the 70s. Well, it's but but it should be. The see, the weirdest thing is, like, there's nothing on it. So it, that would make me think that it's older because maybe they didn't hallmark the really old stuff unless it's like a Japanese kind of knockoff My that's question, old. My question, when I paid eight for it, I probably would not pay it. Well, eight bucks, come you on. You gambled, who cares? It's a, it's a cheap enough gamble, you know. What? Wow. All right, let me turn, okay, I'm turning this off, bye. Hey, what's up, it's Cool Tracks. Cool Tracks, yeah, YouTube channel, please subscribe to him. Uh, today, he and AJ did uh, a trade. What, what'd you trade for, AJ? AJ's busy. All right, um, go ahead. So I got um, a Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Okay. It's completely in good condition. Good nice. Game. And I got a Metroid Fusion for Game Boy Advance. Okay. Somebody was I looking for a Metroid it. Fusion today, right? Yeah. There's... But he didn't want the, he wanted a DS or something or whatever. Yeah, and then I got these for $42, and I traded uh, New Super Mario Bros. on Wii. Donkey Kong Country Returns also on Wii and uh, a Yoshi game on the Game Boy Advance. Okay, sure. so pretty good. Uh, he probably already put the Game Boy Advance somewhere. Now we might. Are we going to do a trade or something? Or I want to. I have some stuff there. Well, I saw that stuff. So you know what? You look around. If you want to do a trade, then I'll do something with you. So you got. You did these two with you? Yeah, and uh, I don't know where the other game went. To your nah, game. whatever. <laughs> it, it's somewhere. They just like. Oh. All right. That was a pretty good deal. Yeah, I know. It was a good deal. So anyway, uh, cool, cool Trex. Subscribe yeah. to his channel, please. Thank you. <laughs> One more trade. One more trade. At first it was AJ's trade and Cool Trex's trade. Please subscribe to his channel. And now this is Cool Trex's trade and my trade with, uh, and I'm secondhand Daisy, of course. Here's what you took. I got Renegade for the NES. All right. We kind of traded uh, pretty fair, I think. Yeah. Xenophobe on NES. Very good. Chess Master on NES. Do you play chess? I'm trying You'll to learn. probably never win. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to learn how to play it. I've tried playing against a computer, and I never, ever, ever won. Yeah, so I, need to get, I want to get into it, though. And, uh, if you like getting fly. your butt beat, play against a computer. And, and yeah, that's that's actually a lot of fun, that game. Yeah. So what did I get for the trade? Uh, three games. Three games. And the, I, think, I think I will sell this at a flea market. That's a fun game. I will sell this at a flea market. And then this I'll probably put on eBay. This is probably the most valuable of the three games. Yeah. I'll switch out the case, but it is complete, right? Yeah. And the disc doesn't look too bad. It looks actually pretty good. Yeah. Nice. So that's our trade. Oh, and let me show you. You know what? Let me. I got something for you, so I'm going to include it in the video. I got to go all the way on the other side. I'm just going to let it roll. That's your shoebox. You can have it. So this is more stuff I got today. So this will go here up. And this is the other thing I got. When I got the N64 last week, uh, it was missing the power supply and the AV, which is actually a surprise to me. I told the person who brought it to me, if he gives me the power supply, I will give him another five. He gave me a five, so it was a done deal. Anyway, I'm turning off the thing. Goodbye. Well, hopefully you won't have that problem. Um, this this isn't really a pickup I made. Um, a friend of mine just gave me this stuff. Um, the games are okay, I guess. I'll just put them with my inexpensive games. Twisted Metal Black, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, ATV, Mortal Kombat Deception, and Need for Speed Undercover. If these discs look good, I'll just put them out. They're, these aren't expensive games at all. Then he gave me some VHS, um, which I didn't really think I can do anything with, but I took them anyway. Um, House Arrest, Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible, Spice World, the Spice Girls movie. Here's a WWF World Wrestling Federation, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, Matrix. Great movie. Sure. Um, so you can take one right there. I have a whole bunch of bags. You see it right on the floor? Here, it's, I think it's over here. I just can't reach it. Okay, let me just... 
No, it's fine. Uh, no problem. I don't mind doing it. I would have definitely given I'm actually probably going to just give him some bags. So this way uh, he doesn't have to bother me. <laughs> that good? You got that? Uh, you're welcome. All right, let me just keep going through these titles because I'm, I might give these away if someone will take it. Titanic from the Discovery. Meet the Parents. Little Nicky. That's a really funny movie. Uh, Top Gun. Highway to the Danger Zone. Here's another wrestling. Ball Axe Success. The Mixtape Tour. Uh, the Good Son. I think there's another wrestling. Probably AJ would want these. But I already asked Steve, so. Uh, the Good Son. Remember McCulley? Oh, this is a movie where Macaulay Culkin played like a psychotic killer. Uh, I, I think he was adopted or something. Um, and then he just went around murdering the parents. And I think they there was like another kid. They took him in from like a, a bad family or whatever. Uh, there's this. I'm going to do the ones that I think are the most it's interesting. That could potentially have some value. And maybe Steve will take this. He does uh, conventions. The ones that I'm not going to do. Oh, wow. I didn't even know this on VHS. This is actually a pretty funny movie. A very young um, Tom Hanks' son. Can't remember. And Jack Black. I don't remember what Tom Hanks' son is. This is interesting. Mix. Uh, Trojan War. Wow, very young Jennifer Love Hewitt. Very young. All right. <clears throat> Road Rage. Mrs. Doubtfire. Mixtape. End one. Hmm. Get this here. <laughs> Hoo ha! That's what Al Pacino says a woman smells like. Selena. Uh, look how young Jennifer Lopez was. Jennifer Lopez. Lolita. Huh. Hey Steve, come here. You might want some of these. Okay, Steve's coming. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna like uh, see if you do actually pick anything. I put the ones that I think you might have interest in over here, and this is the stuff that you probably wouldn't want. This, I thought maybe there might be something here that you'd be interested in. There's a few wrestling ones. Have you looked these up? I didn't look anything up. I, I already said I would give it to you, so I'm just going to give you whatever you want. I, you're, you've been good to me, so I know like you'll hook me up at, at some future point. Nah, I don't want I, I got so much stuff. Okay. I'm trying to... Clear house. So there's nothing here. Then there's definitely not going to be anything here. No, yeah. Just, the do you remember this movie? Yeah. yeah. It's like my son right Discover. Now. Oh yeah. <laughs> do you yeah? Do you remember like there there was an I, do you, I was going to show you that one too. This little Nikki. She was very young in that one. I was noticing Jennifer Love Hewitt. This I don't know. Take it then. Take it. I can't. All right. He's like me. He's got too much stuff. Bring, I was going to bring you another crate of CDs. Ah, you bastard. <laughs> They're in my basement. Well, you can sell them. No, I'm, probably next time I do the metal ends, I'll take that stuff out and just be a buck a piece. They ne they've never been to a flea market. Yeah, I, that's what I'll do. I'll take them out. I'll be like a buck a piece. Because you I looked at this stuff. You got classical. You get the Chinese. Yeah, classical. buck a piece. Boom, just like that. Fresh merch. Yeah, it, at a buck a piece, there's, say, 100 bucks, you remember, 150. Some of that stuff is never... Even seen it I might just make before. bags of it and just like, because at some point people stop buying it. But if you make like a bag of it and go like five bucks a bag, you throw like 30 CDs in it. You know, that works sometimes. Just tired of carrying it. Yeah, I know. I know. I just it's stuck it in the basement for now. I yeah. got shit in the kitchen and the bathroom. Sometimes you got to thin out. Give it away. Uh, you know what? I bought that big lot from Derek that time, right? And he was like, just take it all. I want 200. I said, fine, I'll take it all. And then I just picked out some stuff and then I gave the rest to Nick. You know? You know who Nick is, right? Nick Petito? He's doing really good. You know that? Yeah, he's doing real good. He got a shout-out from Spike Lee. Impersonation Films. Subscribe to his channel. This guy, there's no reason why he doesn't have more subscribers on YouTube. It's ridiculous. Also Steve, Rip and Run Collectibles. Um, but he got a shout-out from Spike Lee because he did an impersonation of Danny Aiello. Um, do you ever watch Nick's, Nick's stuff? 
impersonation films. Check him out. He does uh, he does a uh, Tony Soprano. He does it really good. Plus, he does other guys, but his main ones right now are Tony Soprano, which he got a shout out from um, Mark. Who's the guy in Eraserhead? Mark. Uh, Eraserhead, David, the David Lynch film. Yes, the main guy, the Eraserhead. It's it's something it begins with an R. Mark something. Uh, so you yeah, and it, they oh, did that in his video went wrong. Um, I think it was on f- Facebook or Instagram. It was one or the other. But because of it, he got a lot of views on Facebook. You know, but he's doing really well. He's starting to get this. There's this uh, app where you can give shout outs to people. Oh, you know, cameo. cameo. Uh, yeah, he's doing cameo. He says like uh, he's been getting people asking to do cameo shout outs. Uh, the games in that box are four dollars or three for ten. Actually, you could do cameos. I do not have a PlayStation Four. He has an Xbox One though. If I do, they're over here. In in this tray over here, I I, I may not have any though. I, I don't remember. Um, AJ, you got any PS4 games? Uh, all right, he says no, and I guess me either. You know. Um, well, you sold all those PS4 games from that one time you bought that big bundle? Yeah, it took me like a year plus, but I finally did. That's all gone? I kept some. I kept the PS4 and I kept a bunch of games for myself to play. So it was it was an okay deal. It just took forever. Maybe, what do you think? Should I give these to AJ? He'd probably want them. The wrestling ones are probably good. You think, you think I should look them up first? Yeah. Okay. Don't give any AJ anything without looking it up first. <laughs> He'll be like, how much you want for this? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> well, why don't you do cameo? Uh, because nobody knows who I am. Nobody cares about me, really. Some of the people I don't even heard of either. Why? Yeah. Well, but Nick, I mean, Nick is kind of famous, though, now. Like, uh, so, and he says he's getting the work. He's going to be, there's going to be a Tony Soprano uh, convention. There's going to be a Sopranos convention. You heard about it? No. I know, right? I wouldn't have heard about it if it wasn't for Nick either. But uh, it's going to be an actual convention where they celebrate the Sopranos. And he's going to be, like, featured there. Yeah, yeah, he's been on the news too, so he's doing really well. Uh, I don't think he's he hasn't got a TV show yet uh, or anything, but he's been in some movies, so you know he's getting there. He's actually doing pretty good. Hell yeah! But I think he can do it. You know, that's why impersonation fills. Sub- subscribe to that guy. God damn it! <laughs> Listen to me and Steve. Yeah. Rip Run Collectibles. I want him to have at least a hundred subscribers by tomorrow. Anyway, that's that's my stuff. Goodbye. I think today's going to be a boring day, so I'm going to film my space and AJ's space. AJ made an amazing pickup, though, didn't you? Once I had a page, everyone should have FaceTime. Oh, page? Uh, uh, well, okay, don't worry. You're really tiny in the thing. You're like the size of a postage stamp. And then on my screen, you're even smaller, so. <laughs> I feel so small. So here's AJ's expi- exciting space. So is this two halves of a $10 bill in here? Uh, you should tape that together already. You'll buy some tape off of Michael. It's for ten dollars. <laughs> Once you tape it together. Here's a anyway. AJ put out his toys that sell very well for him. They he, do. You know, one day. Yeah, and everybody was like, "AJ, you idiot! You should have taken to, it." Uh, shop it off, shop it, shop it up nice. uh. I don't know what's <laughs> three for five. I don't know what's your issue, shopping up nice. He likes you. No, he doesn't. You're, he's your biggest fan. He doesn't he's like always you. talking about you. He always comments about you. I don't, I don't know what's It's a problem. love-hate relationship. I don't know what's his problem. <laughs> I, don't, I'm not, I don't do nothing to him. Well, you shouldn't be so sensitive. Nobody cares. I'm not you know? sensitive, but I mean, if he's local, I want you to come up to my face and say something. If you're not local, you can just stay at home. Okay, so a it's a throwdown challenge, I guess. It's not a right? throwdown. All right. I just, I'm just, you know, if you're going to say something, say it to the person's face. So don't hide behind a screen and just... Yeah, it would be nice to do that. Did you ever see the South Park episode? South Park, which one? No, I've you know I stopped watching uh, them a few years back. Episode. Yeah. And, and, and the guy's like this on the screen, right? He sits there, he's like. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. I remember. yeah? Uh, um, which console? Yes. I'm gonna help somebody. Uh, the NES. This one. Uh, Sixty dollars. It comes with these games, and it's tested and works well. Okay. Okay, let me back up to AJ. I have one for 125 for games. Which one? This one? Yeah. Anybody interested? 125 bucks. Did you test every game on it? And it comes with Little Nemo. Ooh. Did you test every game on it? No, that game. <laughs> I know. It's untested. Yeah, it's untested. But, but the game's not tested. AJ is too lazy to put everything back in that showcase. So he's just 
kind of leaving it yeah, out. I don't like tell this. NES is a test. You want to know why? Because people come back. Anyway. I would test them and then just and say they, they don't work. And they're like, oh, it doesn't work. If you sell it to somebody that's not working, let them repair it. But if it comes back as working, it's like, oh, they got. No, it never comes back as working. It comes back as not working. So then you just test it. Uh, our friends in the shop today. I hope show up. Why? Well, he won't have anything for you. He does, he said. What does he have? Dreamcast. Uh, all right. I don't even like Dreamcast stuff. You know how long oh, it took me to sell? I love the rare stuff. I mean, the, yeah, everybody loves the rare stuff, AJ, you know. But he's not giving the rare stuff away. And you now you have to pay him fair because uh, you know him. So anyway, AJ has a I bucket of games. Like gotta, how much is it worth? If it's worth 200 you should pay like 70 Yeah, 70, yeah. yeah that's fair. Yeah. Um, because then at once you put it on eBay and pay the fees and stuff like that. All right, anyway, so bucket of games. And then here's all those pops and the hats. What are you going to sell the hats for today? Four dollars each, three for ten. That's fair. That's 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 a good price for a hat. Do you see the hats that I bought or no? I already gave me one. Yeah, there was only one that I liked. I mean, maybe this one, but I like this color for hats. Maybe I'll take this hat. You care? I thought you looked them all up. AJ's, AJ's uh, a pain in my ass. It goes like this. Take any hat you want. So I pick out the stupid hat. He goes, oh, I have to look it up. Yeah. So here. But it does, you did it last week, and you finally you looked that one up, right? Yes. And how much was it worth? I don't know. Here, look it up. Uh, I'm sure it's worth nothing. I just like that color for hats, for my head. It goes with my ensemble. Look at all the space I took all the way down there. So here's what I did today. I didn't put out a ton of stuff. Uh, I put these out, as always. I don't think I got my money back on these yet, and I think I bought these sometime last year. <sighs> and I bought them here. Do you know I bought these here? You remember, AJ? I bought these here. Yeah, remember? We were set up over there. I know, and here they are, back, full cycle. <coughs> There's my stupid duck. You know, I got that for free in Florida. Here's a bunch of cars. I condensed these to one box just because I didn't have a lot of space on the table. Um, I only put out seven trays of CDs today because I wanted to get some Blu-rays. Uh, what do you? Oh, the duck? That duck there? Eight bucks. Why? I gotta get the car off the street. I mean, it is what it is. If you're gonna do it, then do it. I mean, it's not even snowing yet, though, right? I mean, it's up to you. It's not like we're gonna make a lot of money today. Yeah, but she doesn't have the key. So anyway, um, where I live, if it snows, they make you pull your car off the street. So I have seven trays of CDs, say, some Blu-rays. This is my $4, three for 10 stuff. This is, uh, I actually bought a bunch of consoles. Uh, some of the consoles I bought, uh, I don't think it, yeah, it was new Milford last week. I was like, I'm going to test some of these and bring them out and try and sell some and get my money uh, back at hopefully the very least. Bought an Xbox. I threw in a couple of games. I'm going to try and get like 35 for it. Uh, two of these. I had these, but I didn't have the cables for them. Uh, so I finally got the cables in the mail. So I brought two of these out. Yeah, you can use my phone in a minute. Let me just finish what I'm doing. Marie's phone is being a dick. Uh, I brought a PS2. I didn't have any PS2s left. This stuff I had that I had for like ever. Oh, here's a 64. This uh, part of what I bought. I bought the Xbox. I bought two 64s. Didn't realize when I bought it, this one has like a chip out the front, but it works, so whatever. And I, ha I did have a great controller. Uh, had these games for a while. They're my more expensive. Uh, more games. Uh, what did I bring? Oh, I brought uh, the NES again. I haven't sold that yet. This I've been sitting on for I don't know how long. It's kind of on the ridiculous side. I don't want to do this. This games. What do you? What update? Don't worry, I'm almost done. I don't want to put a passcode on my phone. Oh, then don't do it. You know what? Restart, restart your phone or ask AJ or something like that. Just turn off your phone and restart, whatever. Um, here's Marie's jewelry. Nice and slow. This is nice. You should just put that on eBay already. Here's those enamel pins. I don't even know if you sold any. Today? Uh, one. Let's just get them on eBay, maybe. Here's your... Oh, they do? All right. I don't remember. Uh, 
I don't know. Well, you tell me stuff that, you know, and then you expect me to remember everything. So just tell me, stop telling me so much stuff. <laughs> Write it down for me <laughs> so I don't forget. I saw him last night. Um, he's okay. He's, uh, I think he's, I'll tell you in a second, all right? Yeah. Uh, and here's, here's her, uh, her case. Uh, her, the rest of her jewelry. And that is our space today. I actually made a small pickup. AJ made an amazing pickup. I'm going to show his stuff later. I mentioned that this was the hat that uh, I was like, AJ, can I have this hat? And he was like, I don't know what it's worth. So you had to look it all up and everything, make sure it wasn't worth anything. Uh, and that was right after he said, oh, yeah, you can have a couple of hats if you want. You know, I'm like, oh, cool, because I would wear this hat, right? And then today I was like, and I thought he already checked it, but I was like, AJ, since you already checked the hats, can I check this one? Can I have this one? He's like, oh, I didn't, I didn't check that one. So he had to check this hat. But uh, they weren't worth anything, so I got two new hats for free. Isn't that great? Hey, Bergenfield, we're going home. We tried to get out of there as quickly as possible because of the snow, snow's coming, and where I live, they don't let you park on the street when it snows, because the plow's gotta come through, and if you do park in the street, you'll get a ticket, and whatever, so we just wanna get home. Before the snow accumulates, we're probably gonna wind up with about eight inches of snow tomorrow, right? It's a five. five to eight, five to eight. Um, what do you think about Bergenfield today? Oh, it was so slow. Well, the, the, the crazy thing was, there weren't a lot of vendors there, so I was like, well, I think we're going to do good. Yeah, but people weren't coming. I think but nobody came. They were all at the grocery store, yeah. like... Well, the Wayne Powell was... batteries and water. Yeah, and, maybe. You know, because they think it's the end of the Snowmageddon. world. Snowmageddon. Yeah. But, um... It just wasn't a great day, you know? I mean, some people came... But I didn't have anything new stock. I mean, the only thing I had that was new was all those consoles. But I didn't sell any consoles. I, I don't know if AJ sold. He might have sold the GameCube today. Yeah. But, you know, so that's the only thing I really took that was new, those consoles. Uh, and I, they didn't buy a lot of CDs for me because there just wasn't a lot of people. I think that was part of it. You didn't find anything for a pickup. <clears throat> and I basically got uh, some trade and I bought a couple of things that are that were interesting. Um, one of them, like this thing here, uh, it's backlit. Just that there. I think that's old. Steve didn't think so. But it's just like I don't know who would repro this. It just doesn't look like a repro. A repro, I think, would be better. I mean, unless they reproed it like early, but it has no marking. So I'm thinking it's like mini before. Um, Disney licensed everything if it, if it's old and it's just like well hopefully well taken care for I just I don't think they make stuff like this anymore you know but I mean Steve's seen a lot more toys than I have so I don't know we'll see um, but, and that's about it uh, AJ scored uh, somewhat well definitely scored because for I think like 40 almost 40 bucks he got like maybe $500 worth of stuff um, and I just it was a slow day you know Glad to be going home. Here's some traffic. But that's it. Bergenfield. This year was not uh, a good year for Bergenfield. Well, this is a new year. Like... Well, I suppose. Yeah. I guess I'm just going. Well, so far then. Before Christmas and. Oh, something's going on here. It's a merge, dude. Uh, but why are they so bad at merging? You know, like, what, what is this guy? Uh, yeah, seriously. Like, She's it's... on the phone or something. Uh. Um, but so if this is how Bergenfield is starting off because Bergenfield ended off crappy and it's starting off crappy you know which car's going in first this one or the other one this one okay anyway I don't know anything to add it's just you know any, any like funny flea market stores so it used to be so good <coughs> all these schools the, the parents don't and this was a PTA fundraiser. <coughs> it's another one of those flea you know, markets so that sucks. So it's like they should have put out, a, you know, a bulletin. They yeah. don't do it on paper anymore. But no. that's a waste of time anyway. If yeah. Daisy used to be giving papers at school and she never gave them to me. Nope. But they do it now what is by this? email. Paper? What is this? So, no, she yeah. would just forget. I think everybody but that they came... they do, do it now by... They send out email, like, yeah. alerts and things no. like that from the school. I think now. most of the people that came are people that are following JC. And if it's the same people I saw last week, it's like, I don't really have anything new. No, I didn't. You know? I didn't have any new music CDs. 
The only thing I had new this week was a bunch of uh, consoles that I bought last week. You know, and I tested, and I didn't even, I didn't even take all the consoles I bought last week. I just took a couple of them, and I just took some other stuff. I was like, I can't bring too much of anything. You know, just don't have the room. But you know, I bought a hand truck today. <laughs> You'll see it in in some of my uh, future videos for twenty five. You know, I I think I had the clip and I lost it. Oh. Yeah, but I can use a, a hanger, a wire hanger. But uh, anyway, I guess that's it, right? You, no, no good stories today. No, just a couple of annoying people. But... Oh yeah, there were annoying people for sure today. Uh, but they're the same annoying people that always come and annoy you. But the well, weird thing is, is they buy. That comes whenever we do the ones up there. We, when we do the Milford and when we do Bergenfield, she comes and she makes me nuts. Yeah. She wants to see everything. She wants me to verify what it is, when uh... it is, how much it is. Then she wants it cheaper. Yeah. Then she starts to tell me what's wrong with it. Yep. You know, well, when I say no, I can't go cheaper. I mean, I'm selling her a sterling silver ring for like ten dollars. Yeah. And it's like I mean, come she's on. like, what deal can you make? I was like, what ten dollars for a sterling silver ring? Yeah, that's a, a deal. deal. Yeah. You know, it's like, come on. Well, the annoying thing you is, know? and then she'll put it on. She's like, but it's too big. I'm like, what I, do you want I, it? You know what? Then why do you want it if yeah. there's something wrong with it? Well, the you other know? thing too is that the most annoying part is that she actually buys from you occasionally. So it's like if she never well, bought from you, could be just like, ignore her. Yeah, I know. But she just wears oh, believe me, I'm patient. watching you, and it looks like your head's gonna pop off sometimes. It's like she just wears. It my literally patient. looks like, you know, I come over here. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then I'm trying to ignore her, and then you come over and say, Marie, she needs help, and I'm like, shut up and leave me alone. But of course, I can't say that in front of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I had other people there too. And yeah, but they were just blab blab. Buying anything. No, she wanted to see shit though. I need to did the other people buy anything other, though? Here's the it question. It doesn't matter. Which means they the did. Did she buy anything? Shut up. <laughs> I need to converse with everybody because you don't know who's going to make a yeah. purchase. But that's what I said. What's annoying is that she buys uh, sometimes. So it's but like. But I end up having to give it to her for cheap. Yeah, yeah. And it's just to get rid of her. And I think that's what her whole scheme is. Maybe. I mean, that sounds like it. get off here because I'm worried there's traffic by the bridge. Okay. All right. All right. I guess that's it. People are annoying. We yeah. didn't make a lot of money today. We worked really hard, and now it's snowing. <laughs> and I had to pack stuff in the snow. So, and whatever. And I have to get home before the snow starts sticking. Or we didn't buy anything. Home. Well, Marie didn't buy anything at all. I, I found anything. nothing. In buy. summary, oh. today sucked. People just were annoying. And it was a crappy day. So, there you go. Bergenfield. Summary. We're out of here. Bye.